Are you still wondering if the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire is for you or do you just need a little push to pull the trigger? Well, make sure to watch till the end because I'm gonna show you what exactly fits in these pouches, modeling shots from different combinations, and I will even show you how they look like with my bandoulier and my little mini pochette. Hey, my lovelies, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Amy. I went ahead and stuffed these pouches and as you can see, they are stuffed to the brim. I think there's a tiny little bit of space in this one, but with this one, I really stuffed it all the way to the brim. Even my little coin purse here is filled with items. So like I said in my first impression review, which I do encourage you to re-watch it or to watch it if you haven't already, I do feel that this whole bag system is going to be a great bag for traveling and I'll show you exactly why. So as of right now, these pouches are very full. If you attach them together, they will be very bulgy. Right now, I'm showing you the maximum capacity, but it doesn't mean that I will actually use it like this. But for traveling, I know that I will be able to fit all this if I really needed to. Many people said that this is amazing for AirPods, which I don't disagree, but to be very honest, I won't waste a really nice pouch like this for just a pair of airpods instead i would use this for all the little nitty-gritty look at how much i have here i have four sd cards inside i think normal people don't even need that many you probably need one or two and i have two other rechargeable batteries i don't even think i'll use it for coins i think it's just an amazing travel accessories for things that you always are like wondering how come i can never find it whether it's your hair ties or your rings especially when you go through security so you can put jewelry inside you can put your SD cards like me or the batteries uh, you can put uh, so many different things that are small but that you want to kind of protect and have it in one place love that it has a little clip so you can clip it on any other bags as a charm or as an accessory which is still functional because you can still use the space inside the small pouch so the way I've packed it, I deliberately made it kind of flat on the front because this pouch, if you use the whole system together, this is the one that you see in front. So I definitely want it to look more clean line, uh, nothing too bulgy and crazy. And that is also why I didn't fill it to the brim, but there is a little bit of space left if you really want to utilize the whole pouch. Lip products, there is a hair tie, so let's take those things out and then there's my car keys which I don't think you would need during travel but let's say you have a car rental so there's the two lip product car keys right in the middle there's my phone so this is my iPhone 10s Max which is the largest iPhone size my passport so you know that a passport fits inside no problem and then finally I have my card holder this is also the reason why i'm a big fan of this little pouch here because with the chains attached you can use it as a nighttime bag but it's also big enough to fit a lot of things <laughs> here is the bigger pouch as you can see it doesn't look too pretty and i guess with the pouch being behind i think it's okay and also i would only really use it like this temporarily i wouldn't really stuff it like this on a permanent basis but for traveling i think it's okay and as you can see i put a lot of things inside right on top you see my sunglasses so i have it in a soft case at the moment i'm filming with my point and shoot so i can't really put that in there to show you but i assure you it does fit so just assume like maybe this stack to be my camera because the camera has a bit of a width but it does fit in it and just assume that this is the stack of the camera obviously the camera is a little harder these are a little softer on the far side i have my six key holder so you know the whole six key holder can stand up on this pouch i also had underneath a little tin with mints inside so this can be anything really like look at the size of this thing i have a lip product that's sitting upright on the corner so as you can see even like a standard um I guess like lip product will fit in there standing up which is really nice i love the height of this pouch and then i also have this little pouch with my favorite bag hanger that i always rave about i have these corded uh, headphones for the plane i have a uh, floss right here and then this is the clip hanger the last thing inside are my airpods slip pocket inside so you could use that for receipts and what like whatever you can think of i'm sure if it's not packed full like 
I just showed you you can really utilize and organize your things inside a lot better but I'm just showing you from a traveling point of view it looks pretty good even after I put it all together even though they are pretty full right now I think it still looks really good though it is quite full right now obviously if I uh, move the strap to be a bit lower I think it would look even better it will bulge out but it won't look really out of place right now it's right here on my rib cage of course you'll see a little bit of the uh, zippers on the bigger pouch kind of curving a little bit if it's temporary like i said only if you're in transit while you're traveling then it's okay i don't think it's too too bad it doesn't look too bad at all and sometimes even removing that one thing inside can make a whole lot of a difference so you have to be a little bit more strategic with how you place items inside not that you didn't have to with the palm springs but with this one i feel like you just need that extra bit of getting used to each pouch so just to demonstrate the full-size wallet does fit in it so i do have here my emily wallet even if your wallet was a little bit bigger it would still fit in it but if you do have a larger wallet and you wanted to use it in a pinch it fits in it perfectly it doesn't bulge or anything but obviously right now you only have your wallet inside mini pochette fits inside i don't really know why you would do that uh, but it does fit inside maybe if you need it like more organization when i wear the whole thing together i really like the look of it when it's quite high on the body i just think it looks cool maybe not the most practical because i guess you would have to reach for your wallet like this and also i guess the zipper is facing this side so you probably want to wear it on this side instead and then change the strap to have the pouch here that is only if you wear it quite high um, assuming you're a normal person and you're not really taking photographs you would probably wear it a little low so let's assume it's the evening and it's a little chillier and you want to throw on a blazer so this is how it would look like with the whole thing together i just think that it looks super chic and very cool and just like kind of like you don't really expect it but it's kind of you know it's trendy it's obviously really trendy now i've adjusted the strap to be a bit longer and then just to show you how it looks like so now it looks a little bit more normal because it's not quite as high but it just same cool look with the jacket on if you just have a simple tee or a tank top um, it will still wear really well when it's a little longer so right now it's not too too long it just sits right on top of my i guess it kind of ends at my waist and it sits right on top of my hips and it's so so cool i went ahead and removed the small pouch in the front and left everything as is and as you can see it's also a really good look i get asked a lot do you prefer the prada or the lv i prefer the lv because you get this extra little pouch in the front which you can use in the evening with just a chain but you can also remove it so this is how it looks like really amazing really cute very casual you can wear it even longer or shorter um, if it was shorter it would just look like this i think if i were just to wear the big pouch wearing it longer or at uh, hip length is the best i prefer leaving the chains on but without the chain it will just look a little bit more plain you could just kind of imagine it if you still want the pouch but not here you could obviously still attach it to the clips of the strap if you want to just wear the bigger pouch with nothing else no chains nothing dangling nothing making noises uh, this is how it would look like just a basic pouch with a really cool thick strap and i think it's a really good look on the shoulder it looks pretty amazing too i think it's just a really versatile combo so i went ahead and adjusted the strap even longer and i only attach the small pouch um the clip situation is a little strange but overall it's a really cute look it's just a smaller little bag with a really cool thick strap and of course you could always use the chain as well which will give it a little bit more details and uh just you know something a little bit sparkly if you want to use your coin you can also do that i don't know if i've ever seen anyone style it like this but it's a really cool look sometimes you don't want a really big pouch on your hips you want the smaller one or if you have the mini pochette that's perfect for that uh, although the mini pochette doesn't fit a phone which is why i still feel like these pouches are a much better size um, and then of course with the round coin here there's the clip on it which is super practical how it would look like with just a mini pochette it's just a really really cool sort of like nano bag look it's just a really really small bag with a thick cool strap it just looks exactly the same as earlier except with a mini pochette so let's say you didn't buy the bag but you have all these other components 
um, you could totally make it work, make it look like the multi pochette. It's gonna look a little different because in my opinion, this strap is still a lot cooler. Um, I really like this strap. It really gives it that casual but street look vibe. But nothing wrong with this combo. Depending on how long your bandoulière sits on you, then um, I guess that's the only thing. It's not really adjustable. So let's just assume for a second that this is the regular pochette accessoire, which I don't own one, but I just wanted to show you the look overall, how it would look like. Of course, there will be the zipper part on the pochette accessoire, so it won't look exactly like this. But just to give you an idea, so this is how it would look like. As you can see, it's still nice. It's not bad, but it's not the multi pochette look. Let's just assume again that you have the pochette accessoire in the back, the mini pochette in the front, and then let's assume that you have some sort of a strap from Louis Vuitton. It's still pretty nice. It's kind of cool actually, especially if you already have all these components. I also wanted to show you this bag with this strap. As you can see with this strap, it sits right here where my jeans end, which is a perfect length as well for this bag and uh, if you have the excel strap it will sit a little lower and honestly it's a really good look i think if it was really rainy and i really don't want to get my web strap wet i can totally use my bandoulière so the bigger pouch is amazing for daily wear and out and about but i really love the look of the mini pouch or the smaller pouch i mean great little bag for evening for dinner out i love the dainty look i love the chain look i love that it's a little tinier so it's a little bit more dainty you can also kind of hold it by your hands like a little clutch there's just something about monogram it's just so classic i love the little bit of a shed out on it i like the strap so much that i wanted to get it in pink or just any other color i think if i had the other strap um, it would just complete every single look that I want to go for as fussy as people claim it to be because like I said before also the way you orient your clips is a con if you're lefty or righty and then how you want your zippers to open you know how some bags have two zippers like you can open it from the center of all the bags they should be making these two pouches with the two sides zipper if you're still on the fence about this bag please let me know down below in the comments if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like and also i would love to have you back if you're brand new to my channel so do consider subscribing thank you so much have a great day and i'll talk to you again very soon bye